everyone, chapter 7 I think, yep, 7, the end is getting nearer, in this chapter we're going to assemble the print bed and the power supply, so what do we need for this? So first of all, here we have the magnetic print bed, yep, Cable sleeve, in this baggie here, we need three M3 nuts. Three screws, Finally, the heat bed cable cover, which consists of two parts. Okay, first of all, prepare the heat bed covers. This or like mm, no. this bit seems slightly different than the one pictured in the manual. Something's wrong, guys. There's only a thermistor. Okay, I need. I need the online manual because this is this isn't right. Okay, short break, guys. Seems there are two versions of the heated bed, so I'll just have to use the online manual for this part. So we need the heat bed itself and also a power cable. We're also gonna need where did I put my bag? Yep. Should be a few washers. Here 
here. And also two nylock nuts. Gonna have to unscrew this. Yes, because in the paper manual there was only one hole here, but on my heat bed, on my print bed, there are three holes. Of course, the two others are for connecting the cable. Flip it over. Yep, see, cable goes there. Cable is connected. Okay, and now we can continue the assembly as usual. Now we take our cable wrap and then next. First of all, we need to put the cable sleeve inside this cable cover here, like this, and then put So the cable is installed, now we're going to mount the heat bed to the printer. Where did I put all those screws? Ah, here they are. And now we're going to need 9 screws. Screws with head like this and nine spacers these little guys okay, now push the carriage all the way to the front and the print bed behind it Hole in the center of the carriage, that's that one. The spacer on there.
Then next, we can take the print bed, put one of our own keys to there. Okay, that's it. Just to align the parts. And then the center is in, uh, screw is in place, but not fully tightened yet. This is going to be a tricky part. We're going to use the pliers to insert the spacer underneath the print bed. Then align them with the Allen key and then put in a screw. But don't tighten them fully yet. All screws are in place, now we can start tightening them in what order. First we start with the center screw, then these four. That's it. Uh, next we need the power supply two dome headed screws which are these ones And two regular 10mm M3 screws, which are the last ones in this bag. So, turn the printer around again. Here we have two supports for the power supply that we installed in chapter 2. Now I am putting on the power supply for now, but after this printer is finished, I'm gonna put it in an enclosure. Then I have to remove the power supply again. But before I can do that, I have to print some parts to build the enclosure, so for now I'm just following the manual. Screws. I think not. I think I should use these ones. Okay, so that explains a lot. The dome headed screws are for securing the power supply to the frame, not to the holders.
Okay guys, I think that's it for chapter 8. Print bed and power supply are installed. Oh wait, chapter 7, this was chapter 7. Now the next part, that's the final part before we can fire this baby up. Electronics assembly. So, see you in chapter 8.